suspect in the disappearance of a beloved St. Augustine priest is back in St. John's County this morning. Yes, yeah, Stephen Murray is set to go before a judge today. Murray was arrested in Aiken, South Carolina on a fugitive warrant. He appeared before a judge. You can see him, look at that, waving and smiling at our cameras. Well, he signed the papers for extradition to Florida. Chris Parento is live in St. John's County with the latest. Chris, what's going on now? Bakari, we're now waiting for Stephen Murray to go before a judge here at the St. John's County Detention Center this morning. They do it via closed circuit television here with the inmates in the jail, the judge over at the courthouse and able to communicate back and forth that way. But we're told that this will be a closed hearing this morning, that our cameras will not be able to be in there for that hearing. I'm working to get some more information from staff here at the detention center about that and whether or not that may have changed overnight. Again, Stephen Murray arrested in Aiken, South Carolina, just a couple of days ago, went before a judge there to sign his extradition papers, said things like, let's ride, when the judge asked him if he was ready to sign the papers. He looked over at the cameras that were in the courtroom and he smiled. Now that he is in custody here in St. John's County, detectives and investigators will be able to talk to him to try to get any information that they can about Father Rene Robert's disappearance. Sheriff David Shore has called Murray the only suspect at this point in that disappearance, and they're hopeful that they can get some information from him. I spoke with a forensics detective yesterday who said it might not be information that they can get him to admit to, but other things that could be helpful. A lot of times, though, what investigators are trying to do when they interview somebody that they think may be involved in a crime is not so much to get them to admit to it, but also potentially to get them to deny things that the investigators know they can prove to be true. Stephen Murray is being held on an aggravated fleeing and attempting to elude law enforcement charge. That stems from that police pursuit on Tuesday night that started here in St. John's County, went up 95, and eventually Murray was able to get away from police around 95 and JTB in that construction zone. He faces that charge before the judge this morning, and jail records online show that he's being held on $100,000 bond. Live in St. John's County, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4. The local station.